So now coming to the anions classification. Anions are classified into three types. Monoatomic anion, homopolyatomic anion, heteropolyatomic anion. Monoatomic anion. It contains the atoms of same element with negative charge. You can see only one single element that is a Cl minus example. Okay. Now homopolyatomic anion. It contains two or more atoms of same element. Example I can give you O2 minus 2. O is present two times. Even in O2 minus also, O is present two times. Okay. Two times the atom can be present. Now coming to heteropolyatomic anion. It contains two or more atoms of different elements. Example I can give you SO4 minus 2. In sulfate ion you can see S present one time, oxygen present four times. Okay, even in SO3 minus sulfite, S present one time, O3, oxygen present three times. So, these are the examples of anions. Now, coming to the salt. So, salt can be formed by the electrostatic force of attraction between anion and cation. So, this is ionic bond formation. Every salt is formed by the ionic bond formation. Next, coming to the uh, second one, addition or molecular compounds. So, addition or molecular compounds. Whenever we are adding two or more compounds in a particular proportion, by evaporation method, we will get the molecular compounds. For example, I am taking KCl, MgCl2 and 6H2O. I am adding all this in a container and I am doing evaporation. Then I will get KCl dot MgCl2 dot 6H2O. This is one compound that is a molecular compound. So, okay, these molecular compounds are again divided into two types. Double salts, complex compounds. Okay, double salts. Double salts means what? Whenever you are adding this addition compounds to water, they lose their identity and forms ions. They will break into ions. Best example, this KCl dot MC, MgCl2 dot 6H2O, when I add it to water, it breaks into K plus, Cl minus and Mg2 plus different ions. Okay, next coming to complex compounds. These complex compounds, they will not break into uh, complete ions whenever you are adding to ions, whenever you are adding to water. Okay, they will form complex ions and they will retain their identity. So, cobalt ammonium chloride complex, when I am adding to water, it gets dissociated into CO and H33 plus complex ion. And 3Cl- because there is a coordinate covalent bond between CO and NH3. So, now we got complex compounds. So, we are going to discuss about this complex compounds in our coordination chemistry.